All right, Wildcats, so this is just a quick tutorial on how to take a large Bitmoji classroom and to downsize it so it's easier for the kids to see in Schoology. So open your original file. Then you're going to go to File, Make a Copy, Entire Presentation, Rename it. If I were you, I would do the file size, like I'm going to do standard 4 by 3 Some of you might do widescreen 16 by 9 Whatever makes you happy and then decide where you want it saved in your folder and then hit OK. It's going to open in a new tab. So then as you notice you have your original open and the new one open. So this is the new one. So we're going to change the size of the background. So we're going to go to File, Page Setup, and this is where you change it. So you decide if you want widescreen, they're going to have to, you know, scroll over just a little bit, or you could just do standard, which should be, you know, front and center. So I'm going to go with standard. As you notice, it is going to change everything size-wise. So just take your cursor, click, drag, then click delete. Okay? It's going to give you a blank canvas. This is the time if you want to change your background, you can. You just go up here to background. Click Choose Image, go to Google Image Search, and then you can actually type in Floor and Wall Background. And you can choose any background you want, okay? That's just an option. Or you can keep it the way that you had it, okay? So here's what you do now. You go to your original, and what you start doing is all you do is you click Command-C, or you can do control and do copy, whatever makes you happy. Then go over here, click, do control V, which pastes it, or you can do control click, paste. And then all you do is you start bringing everything over, putting it where you want it in the smaller area. And as you know, guys, you're not going to be able to fit everything. So you might just want to bring everything over. And then you can start, uh, like with this uh, cabinet, this bookshelf right here. It's not all going to fit. So what I had to do is I clicked it, I went to crop, and I actually had to, unfortunately, cut part of it off. But then I was able to resize it and make it fit better, okay? So that's all you do. You just click, copy, paste, bring it over, and then that way it's all in that one little area. Okay, so later I'm going to show you how to embed it into Schoology and all that next this coming week. So we're going to get there, guys. Just let me know if you have any questions. Y'all have a great day.